the pitch at game time nerves all around, but on the English side, they're holding decades worth of anticipation. Their fans desperate for a first win in any major final since 1966. At screens across London, watching the game was one potential heart attack after another. Even though fans here were feeling pretty confident after their team struck first within minutes of kickoff. We are buzzing. It's been such a long time coming. We've not been in the finals of anything since like 66, so yeah, it's massive. To be in a final and for it to be at Wembley won't happen again. The giddy anticipation and the party outside Wembley began hours before the game. Some fans without tickets even stormed the barriers, trying to push their way in before security intervened. And it's Luke Shaw! With scenes like these across the country, you'd be forgiven for thinking everyone was rooting for the English side. But in small pockets of London, loyalties were somewhat divided among Italians living in Britain. Italy, absolutely. But then I would be happy England too. I love England, but I love Italian football more. <laughs> England is home for me at the moment, so you know there is uh, a double side in me, but yeah, always sports Italia. <laughs> this is a problem, and it is in! And Italy got back into the match, tying it in the second half, leading to the dreaded finish for every fan. Penalty shot. Huge responsibility on his young shoulders. The two sides even until the bitter end. Penalties proved to be the dagger in English hearts. Italy crowned European champions for the first time since 1968. England defeated and heartbroken. Her drought continues. Salima Shivji, CBC News, London.